viewers, it's me Kulsum Ahmad. Today we are going to learn about price elasticity of supply. Now, elasticity of supply means a measure of the responsiveness of the quantity supplier to a price change. So as we people know that there is positive relationship of price with quantity supply. If price increases, quantity supply also increases because the supplier is encouraged enough to produce more because he has confidence that uh, price is increasing, it means consumers are demanding this uh, type of product. And if uh, consumers are demanding, it means this is uh, the, uh, the product that is more in uh, demand. So what he will do, he will be increasing the supply. And the elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of the quantity supplier to a change in the price of a good when all other influences on selling plants remain the same. So um, it means uh, the more will be the price, the higher will be supply so that the market demand is met. So calculating the elasticity of supply, we have percentage change in quantity supply divided by percentage change in price. So it is the same formula that we use in price elasticity of demand. But over there we were saying percentage change in quantity demand with respect to percentage change in price. But over here instead of saying demand, we are writing down supply. So this is the formula, basic formula. And why to calculate? To calculate the demand or everything, the main purpose is we want to know about the revenue. So we, uh, what is revenue? Revenue is when we are going to multiply price with the quantities. If the price is $5 and we are sell, uh, selling 10 quantities, it means we are, our revenue is going to be $50. So in this way we are understanding. When the price changes, total revenue also changes. But a rise in price doesn't always increase total revenue. It means if the price is increasing, it, it is not the uh, mandatory thing that the revenue should be increasing. Sometimes revenue will be falling, sometimes revenue may remain constant. Now why, why this will happen? So let us just understand. The change in total revenue due to a change in price depends upon the elasticity of demand. Means if people are demanding the product. Now being a consumer, we require uh, things. Some of the products are our necessity. We cannot live without them. No matter their prices are increasing or decreasing. But other things, for example, uh, the things that uh, will fall under the category of wants and luxury. We may withdraw our wants. We may post on our uh, items that we are uh, willing to buy for the luxury purpose. So the demand may not uh, move in the same direction as the price moves. So consumer may buy, may not buy. So if the demand is elastic, a 1% price cut increases the quantity sold by more than 1% and total revenue will be increasing. Now demand is elastic. Elastic means consumer response is greater. So if we are going to reduce the price by 1%, it means more and more consumers are ready and willing to buy. So if more people will buy, our total revenue will increase. Now if demand is inelastic, a 1% price cut decreases the quantity sold by more than 1% and total revenue decreases. So if the product is inelastic, it means the customer has to buy the same uh, number of items per month or per day so they may not increase the demand. For example, if you are using 1 tablespoon sugar in the cup of tea. Uh, if the price of sugar decreases, it does not mean that you are going to use two uh, tablespoons in one cup of tea. No. Already you are using uh, what you require, so you will be using the, uh, in the same quantity. So what will happen if in this type of uh, situation you are going to reduce the price? Because you are a seller and you want, you just, you just uh, understand that if I will be reducing price, more number of uh, buying will be there in the market. So uh, you have this assumption. So keeping in mind this thing, you are going to reduce the price. But the customer may not increase their demand because they are already using to the full extent. So what will happen? Instead of getting a profit, you may get loss. So first of all, we need to understand what sort of product we are bringing into the market. Or is it flexible? Is it elastic or inelastic? So you need to understand first. If demand is unit elastic, a 1% price cut increases the quantity sold by 1% and total revenue remains unchanged. 
So in um, unitary elastic, the same response we are going to expect from the consumer. Now, total revenue test is a method of estimating the price elasticity of demand by observing the change in total revenue, the results from a price change, when all other inferences on the quantity shall remain the same. So total revenue test will let us know either we are getting profit or not. If a price cut increases total revenue, demand is elastic. So we need to understand, we need to make a table, um, price decrease, total revenue increase, when, when we have elasticity. So if price cut decreases total revenue, demand is inelastic. Now, you need to understand this thing as well. If you are going to reduce the price, total revenue is going to decrease. So it means the product is inelastic. Instead of getting profit, you are getting loss. Then uh, if a price cut leaves total revenue unchanged, demand is unitary elastic. So this is also quite obvious. Now this is total revenue test. First of all, we have types of demand, elastic, inelastic and unitary elastic. Then value of elasticity of demand. In elastic, we have greater than one. In inelastic, we have less than one. And in unitary, we have equal. Now change in quantity versus change in prices. So what will happen when we are having elastic, larger percentage change in quantity will happen. And when we have inelastic, smaller percentage change in quantity will happen. And when we have unitary, equal response will remain, will be there. Now effect of an increase in price on total revenue. So what will happen to the total revenue? Um, total revenue decreases. Now uh, see again effect of an increase in price so you are going to increase the price price is going to be high so in elastic product if if the product is elastic means people may leave the product when we, you are going to increase the price so what happens you have increased the price people left buying that product and you got total revenue will decrease it means you are facing loss over here so your decision was wrong now come to uh, next uh, column effect of a decrease in price on total revenue now uh, same situation you have elastic product and you are going to decrease the price so when it was elastic and you decrease the price what will happen more people are attracted to buy the product so what will happen total revenue will increase so this is encouraging now come to next in elastic product first of all you increase the price definitely in elastic mean people cannot leave the thing so if you increase the price, people are supposed to buy, they will be buying. So what will happen? Your total revenue will increase. And see, effect of a decrease in price. So what will happen? The product is inelastic and you are going to decrease the price. So decreasing the price will not attract more customer towards your product. So what will happen? Rather, uh, instead of having benefit, your total revenue will fall. Then come to unitary elastic. In unitary, either you price, uh, you increase the price or you decrease the price, uh, the revenue will not change because equal response will happen in the market. Now, when demand is inelastic, price and total revenue are directly related. The price increases, generate, generates higher revenues. So this is uh, quite obvious. We have discussed it a lot. When demand is inelastic, price and total revenue are indirectly related. So price price increases generates generates lower revenue so instead of getting benefits you will be facing lower revenues now let's see how to get it in the diagrammatical shape so the same thing we have taken quantity demand on one side and price on another side our price is five pound and our quantities are 100 and this is the total revenue total revenue is 100 into 5 will be 500 and we have kept triple zero in spare so we are going to attach that and we will get 500 thousands in the market so this is the price now what we, you will do see what we are going to do oh yes we are going to decrease the price so if, if the price was five dollar we will make it three dollar and what will happen to the demand if it was 100 it will go to 140 so this is uh, now next total revenue is 140 multiplied by three so what will be there uh, that the first thing where we had was 100 into 5 was 500 and 140 into 3 will be what so uh, just think about it will it increase the uh, revenue or decrease the revenue yes it is decrease in the total revenue 
so because we are going to get 420 so let's see let's see elastic what is happening now right now uh, when the pr price was 10 pound we are going to have five items and we have decreased the price and decreasing the price means we are having uh, first was um, what and now what what we are going to get have so first was 10 into 550 and now 5 into 630 so total revenue has decreased because the product is in elastic so uh, total revenue will fall this is not a good move now let's see what is happening in the next diagram 10 into 5 we were having 50 and now we decrease the price and the product was elastic so the quantity is jumped to 20 so now it is too good like the price the total revenue is increasing uh, so much if it was 10 into 550 now it is 7 into 20 is equals to 140 so this is a good move the total revenue is increasing so now this is the conclusion if demand is price elastic increasing price would reduce total revenue and that is percentage change in quantity demand is greater than percentage change in p so reducing price would increase total revenue fine uh, come to the next if price is uh, pr demand is price inelastic increasing in price would increase total revenue means when we have a situation where percentage change in quantity demand is less than percentage change in p and then reducing price would reduce total revenue so reducing price means percentage change in quantity demand is less than percentage change in p so this is the situation where it is reducing now elastic we have an income elastic elasticity of demand a positive sign denotes a normal good if your income is increasing and you want to buy the same product in the same quantity or more than that it means you are dealing with the normal good and a negative sign denotes an inferior good it means if our income increasing and we are going to leave the uh, purchasing of one product it means that product was an inferior good so inferior good is a product that we will buy less if our income is increasing a normal good is a product that we buy more as our income will be increasing income elasticity of demand that tells a positive sign denotes a normal good means if our income is increasing and we are going to purchase more of the product it means the product is a normal good so a, a negative sign denotes an inferior good it means if our income is increasing and we are going to leave buying that product or we are going to buy it less in quantity it means the product is inferior good so uh, what is normal good normal good is a good as our income increases we buy more of that good means we are just satisfied from the good and we want to purchase more of it because we just enjoy it and inferior good is a good that if our income is increasing we are going to buy less of it because we are not satisfied and we were buying it because we had no option before so as our income is increasing we can afford more qualitative products so we would switch towards buying that product and instead of that we will be leaving that product before that we using as an inferior good so we want to go towards the qualitative product so inferior goods are the goods that we may withdraw so price elasticity of demand with your expenditure and your elasticity if your demand is elastic a one percent price cut increases the quantity you buy more than one percent and your expenditure on the item increases so because your demand is elastic uh, means you can leave it you can have it more or what so a one percent price cut so as the price was uh, decreased uh, your confidence and your ability to buy has increased so what you will do you will buy more of it because you will feel it that i'm getting benefit so why not to get more benefit so you feel a, a sense of satisfaction if your demand is inelastic means uh, whatever is your requirement you are buying to that extent you can you need not to buy more of it as i gave you example before that in uh, one cup of tea if you are using one tablespoon of, uh, of one teaspoon of sugar uh, no matter the price of sugar goes down you may not increase the uh, uh, usage of uh, uh, one uh, tablespoon or teaspoon into the cup you cannot uh, increase to two tablespoons no so it means you are already using to the full extent so if the price will be cut 
it uh, it does not mean that you are going to increase more of your expenditure on it rather you will be decreasing your uh, you will get a benefit of it uh, that price cut because uh, you will getting less money consumed on that product so if your demand is unit elastic a 1% price cut increases the quantity you buy by 1% and your expenditure on the item does not change so unit in unit range we are not going to increase the expenditure or decrease the expenditure we will have the same quantity that we are using now apply price elasticity of demand the factors that influence the elasticity of demand the elasticity of demand for a good depends upon the closeness of substitute so if we have more of the substitutes available in the market definitely we may switch from one product to another product the proportion of income spent on the good how much do we spend on that product if a, a product that we are buying it takes only uh, 1% of our total salary uh, if its price doubles it does not mean that we are going to switch off the uh, purchasing of that product because it, it is of a very little amount that we use it very little amount on it so it, its price hike will not disturb our budget the time elapsed since a price change if the price changes right now you cannot switch off its consumption rather you in future you may switch off right uh, right as you get opportunities as, as you get other alternatives you may switch towards other substitute goods then uh, let's just uh, have the deep elaboration closeness of substitute the closer the substitute for a good or service the more elastic are the demand for it necessities such as food or housing generally have inelastic demand and luxuries such as ex uh, exotic vacations generally have elastic demand so proportion of income spent on the good the greater the proportion of income consumed on good the larger is the elastic of demand the time elapsed since price changed the more time consumers have to adjust to a price change or the longer that a good can be st stored without losing its value the more elastic is the demand for that good and we have independent goods as well now a zero or near zero cross elasticity suggests that the two products are unrelated or independent goods example we would not expect a change in the price of a butter to have an any impact on the purchases of a fill because these two are quite irrelated irrelevant they don't have any relevancy the film purchase has to do nothing with the butter prices then we have extreme cases uh, first of all we have perfectly inelastic supply definitely no matter how where the prices are going but we cannot increase the supply of that product for example if a doctor is uh, having two or four operations per day no the price the uh, uh, the price has increased of doing operating some someone but it does not mean that the price is increasing and doctor is going to do more and more operations no he cannot do that because he is offering his full services and he has no space and no capacity to increase the services so unity in a unitary elastic we have equal response as the price increases so the supply will increase and in perfectly elastic price will stay same but we are going we are able to offer more and more of the services so this thing will happen this was all about my today's lecture if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you